All right, everyone. I'm back in the video. In this video, it's roulette. So let's go into the roulette. Um, honestly, this roulette is kind of interesting. The reason why this roulette is interesting is because there was no new glory her item. The current highest glory her item right now is still, um, or the current newest glory her item right now is still the Starmoon Lorita. So, <clears throat> um, Starmoon Lorita is good, but it's not something that I really want to <laughs> necessarily will a glory heart for. Um, however, if you are still looking for an R10 transform, Sophia is currently the strongest transform in the game. I fully believe that. So, if you do get a Glory Heart, I'd recommend getting Sophia because this is probably going to give you the biggest increase for a Glory Heart. Um, when Sophia will be, will be Power Crept, it's probably not going to be for a while because you'd have to get rid of three other transforms first. Um, Sophia is that valuable, in my opinion. But, yeah. For pure damage, I'd get Sophia. Uh, for utility, I think there's definitely other transforms where I'd even wait for other transforms to release for utility. But, yeah. So interesting that there's no new glory heart, but um, honestly, taking it slow isn't that bad either, I guess, in a way. Anyways, there is new stuff for silver, so uh, fancy cards. But anyways, I want to point out, revert this worked. They, they did indeed revert it, guys. We are back to one fancy heart per 10 alloy or per 10 ethereal mithril. So thank you, thank you, Neocraft, for listening to what I'm saying, or maybe and or other people were saying as well um, about the um, cost and change of the alloy and mithril. So I'm honestly surprised they did it so fast, but mm, I think it's good they did it fast. Um, but yeah, Holy Throne, Red Mount, honestly, it's kind of good, to be honest. Uh, <clears throat> I can't really hate on it. I kind of like it. I'd buy it if it wasn't in roulette. Like, if this was a dice one, I'd probably get it. But, yeah. Um, the outfit is... Wait, can I not just, like... Oh, you... There's only a dice where you can preview the whole thing. But, anyways. The outfit is decent. But, it's not something that I really would buy for a fancy heart, personally. Um, that's my thoughts on it, but, yeah. Um, I already have the hair, so I can't really show that right now, but... Mm -hmm. I'll match it in a bit. The crown, nothing special. Not worth buying, in my opinion. Just nothing special. And we know that these are purely cosmetic, really, because the stats always suck on these things. And even free to play, you can just use cart and mask for better headwears and whatever they drop, usually. So, um, not worth getting. But it is clean, I guess, and simple, but not worth at all. Um, the royal throne has, adds two little angels on your side. Or made made angels. I don't know what to call them. Oh, and it places a crown on your head. I actually really like that. This one is actually really cool. Honestly, probably one of the better mounts that they've added in a while. But um, six fancy hearts is pretty expensive in my opinion, so I'm not going to be getting it. Nor will I probably be getting it for a very long time. I want to get lucky doing 450 spins. Anyways, <clears throat> the meat and potatoes of roulette. Amaterasu Fantasy, Fantasy Spirit Bead and Iric Fantasy Spirit Bead. Where do I even begin? I already made a video on Fantasy Amaterasu Spirit Bead. So I don't know if you'll be watching that before or after this, if you even watch it, but Fantasy Amaterasu is probably the best thing in the game to buy right now. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, Iric or Eric, I guess. Eric Fantasy Spirit Bead is... How do I preview it? I don't know how to preview it, but... Um... I don't really care for it. Like, it's good, but I think Amaterasu is literally just better. It's just a better investment to get Amaterasu than to get, um, Iric. So, yeah. Um, Potestains, I believe... I don't know if this was here before or not. But Potosanes, uh, if you want Potato Stain Guardian, then get Potato Stain Guardian. But if you don't want it, then don't get it, I guess. Um, I don't really like buying Guardian Shards in this event, honestly. For Fancy Hearts, especially when you have things like um, Fantasy Amaterasu and now in the game, I recommend getting those. But if you are, but, um, 
I put Power Crystal Course on hold because of, of Fantasy Materasu, because this pearl is just so good. Even if you get level 1 version of it, it's still just so, 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 so good. So, I really recommend getting Fantasy Materasu. Other than that, 10 Fantasy Hearts is crazy for all that type of stuff, so I don't want really to get that if you're doing like 6 day spins, you just have extra Fantasy Hearts at the end. Other than that, pretty standard stuff at the end of Roulette. We do have Moonlight Essence, 10 of them, which is 10k of this, which is not nearly enough. But for some reason now they want to cost you what is it, five thousand stars? No, thank you. Um, and I'm not really a fan of this to be honest. I think it needs to be like five k at least per, and even then it feels like too little. But one k per is not worth it at all. Um, but there's nothing to get really too much with the uh, yellow stars. Um, star sand and stuff is also pretty typical, but you know just. Depends on what you need on your character, but thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.